Good morning, everyone. Welcome to today's market outlook. Edmund here. How are you doing today? So we have uh, already gone by two market days, and today on a Wednesday, we are at the beginning of the third market day. So on Monday and Tuesday, although the economic calendar wasn't packed, but we still saw very good movements on uh, gold prices on Monday and also on Tuesday. And uh, currency prices was pretty quiet on Monday. However, yesterday on Tuesday, currency prices uh, started to move uh, pretty aggressively. So it's been a very interesting uh, two days so far, as it always is on the foreign currency markets. So let us have a quick look and see what is coming up for today's economic calendar before we move on to the technical charts analysis section. Okay, so over here, we are looking at uh, 19th of August, uh, Wednesday. We were going to have a slightly busier economic calendar today. We will be starting off with the 2 p.m. Uh, economic data coming up from the UK. We will be having the yearly consumer price index, producer price index numbers, uh, retail price index. Um, this will all be coming out at 2 p.m. Towards uh, later afternoon uh, at 4 p.m., we will be having the Eurozone current account numbers. And also at 5 p.m., we will be having the yearly final consumer price index numbers from the Eurozone. OPEC meetings are ongoing for the whole of today, uh, all of today. Um, of course, uh, during these OPEC meetings, um, the oil producing economic countries, uh, in terms of their ministers, uh, they are looking to discuss on uh, production output numbers. As we are aware, uh, production outputs has been reduced uh, since the month of April, since the month of May, and uh, well, it has uh, managed to support oil prices all the way from a low of uh, nine dollars and eighty cents. Back in April twenty, back on April twenty first, and uh, currently our prices are hovering around uh, forty two U S dollar levels. This is for the U S WTI oil. Okay, so uh, these few days and also tonight's uh, crude oil inventories data will have a impact or a bearing on U S oil prices as uh, it is again testing the recent highs of forty three dollars and fifty cents. Um, towards uh, Canada tonight, we will be having the consumer price index numbers from Canada. And uh, tonight, early morning, or rather later on on Thursday, early morning at 2 a.m., local Singapore and Malaysia time, we will be having the FOMC meeting minutes. So um, nothing surprising or unexpected from this uh, meeting minutes. Basically, interest rates should remain as it is. And uh, again, all eyes or all, all, all the focus will be on the ongoing negotiations uh, between the Democrats and also the Republicans on the approval of uh, further financial stimulus for the U.S. economy. Okay, so these are a set of uh, economic data coming out tonight uh, for today, and uh, we're going to be having a quite a busy, uh, busy economic calendar. I would expect currencies and also commodity prices to trade in the range bound or a sideways fashion, possibly for currencies within uh, eighty pips uh, high and low range. Uh, possibly running a few cycles up and down. And for gold prices, um, expecting 25 to 30 US dollars uh, sideways range movement. Okay, so uh, moving on to other events in focus. Uh, first of all, the US dollar continued to weaken uh, from last uh, Wednesday's uh, 12th of August, where it touched a resistance on the four hour charts. And uh, yesterday, it actually hit the support levels of 92.50 and broke through the support levels. Okay before having some mild recovery. So looking at the US dollar index, this is what we are looking at. Um, again, uh, back on uh, last Wednesday, which was the 12th of August, uh, we hit a resistance over here. Okay, it hit a resistance of uh, 93.87. And then after um, started to move down and back on the one hour charts, uh, this was the support levels um, our recent support levels of uh, the US dollar index at 92.50. And when we are looking at uh, the one hour charts, uh, yesterday morning, it actually, uh, the day started with the US dollar weakening. And throughout the whole day, the US dollar continued to weaken. Uh, the first breakthrough was here at about uh, 1100 hours plus 5 is 16, 4 p.m. local Singapore and Malaysia time. Um, it breaks through the support levels of 92.52 and towards the evening session, you can see this is the first candle, 1400 uh, plus 5 is 19, this is 7 p.m. local Singapore and Malaysia time. The US dollar breaks through the support levels decisively. 
okay uh touches a support level next support level of 92.15 um which is a support levels uh hit way back way back uh, about two years ago uh, again uh, this one these levels was at uh, may in the month of may 2018 okay so again um, the main reason why the us dollar was uh, weakening for the last uh, four to five market days again is due to the lack of progress uh, in the ongoing negotiations for additional um, us uh, financial stimulus okay so um, yesterday also we saw us uh, treasury yields uh, dropping for the 10 years and 30 year note uh, treasury bonds and again um, the combination of uh, the us dollar weakening and also treasury yields uh, dropping we saw um, gold prices going up on a monday and also for tuesday gold prices started to move up as early as uh, 4 plus 5 9 a.m local singapore and malaysia time it moves up to high of 2013 going up about 30 us dollars before pushing down at about uh, this is the one 1600 uh, plus 521 this is at uh, 9 p.m uh, singapore and malaysia time gold prices push back to a low of 1976 coming down 36 us dollars okay before having a sharp recovery uh pushing back up again uh, another 30 dollars and as we are speaking this morning um as early as 8 a.m gold prices came down from a high of 2005 us dollars to the current prices of 1993 is down about 14 us dollars now uh, I would expect gold prices again to go into a range uh, between uh, 2000 and, uh, 2000 and uh, 2005 US dollars to the short term um, and to a low of uh, you know, the current low of uh, 1992. Okay, If it does break down further, we are expecting gold prices to test the support levels again of uh, 1980. And uh, again, for yesterday's, during yesterday's market updates, we were also looking at uh, gold prices to uh, test the 1979 levels to the low side. Uh, yesterday, it went up to 1976 before having a good support and a decent recovery. And we were also looking at the high side of uh, 2009 US dollars. Um, it did touch 2009 US dollars um, in the UK trading session yesterday. And in the US trading session last night, it just uh, pushed up a little bit higher to 2015. Uh, before pulling back down 36 US dollars. Okay, so that was the range for yesterday, uh, which was pretty spot on. Okay, so um, looking back at the US dollar index, again, the uh, US dollar was uh, weakening throughout uh, the day yesterday, uh, as early as uh, 8 a.m. and uh, continued by the decisive uh, break at uh, 1400, which is at uh, 7 p.m. local Singapore time. Okay, so as expected, uh, when you look at the uh, major currencies trading against the US dollar, um, especially the UK pound, we do see the UK pound strengthening against the US dollar yesterday as early as 8 a.m. also from a price level of uh, 1.3104 all the way to a high of 1.3246. Okay, again, yesterday we were looking, um, if the US dollar continued to weaken, we were looking at a higher price of uh, Higher price of one point over here. Okay, higher price around here, one point three one eight six, which it hit and surpassed. Um, and uh, of course, uh, currently it is still very much on a uh, bullish trend. Okay, so before it comes down, uh, of course we expect some retracement first for today. Uh, but for yesterday it was uh, again a similar pattern of uh, behavior and movement, as the US dollar was uh, weakening. We can see the UK pound strengthening um, about the same time okay so it strengthens from 1.3106 again um, the first level to the afternoon session was to 1.3176 going up about 70 pips and then after um, the second evening cycle was here time again is 1400 uh, this is 7 pm from 1.3152 it goes up to 1.3248 goes up another 95 pips Okay, so throughout the day yesterday, um, the UK pound strengthened a total of about 140 pips up. So if you manage to catch anything from uh, 40 pips to 50 pips uh, profits, again, that would have been a good trade. Okay, again, uh, this also wasn't a sudden, sudden, it wasn't a sudden move up. It has been accumulating for the last one, two, three days. 
uh, before it actually uh, pushed up um, yesterday. Okay, so currently it is going sideways. Um, we expect that, that if it does uh, push down, it should have a support level of 1.3227, which is about 17 pips to the downside. And the immediate upside is at uh, 1.3263, which is about 20 pips to the upside. Um, a larger movement or a larger volatility could see the UK pound come back to uh, test these levels of uh, 1.3157, which is about 85 pips to the downside. Uh, this is possible and uh, it could happen as we have a busy economic calendar today um, or even leading up towards the FOMC meeting minutes tonight. Okay. So, yeah, so it's gone up quite a little bit. So uh, be careful of uh, buying at this uh, high rates. Uh, we could uh, have a retracement down first. So um, try not to buy at the tip over here. Okay. So currently, it would not be a very good idea if you were to, you know, look for a buy position. Look for some retracement first before you go for any buy positions. And um, moving on to the euro dollar. Euro dollar is the... It's also moving up yesterday. Okay, so in the morning session, it was at 1.1872 and it moved to a high of 1.1964, going up a total of 91 pips. Okay, uh, gold prices again, just now we went through, uh, went through gold prices. Gold prices started to move at about uh, 9 a.m. from 1,984 levels all the way to a high of 2,000 and, uh, 2014 US dollars, going up about 30 US dollars from the Asian trading session all the way until the end of the UK trading session. And as the US, um, US markets uh, participated, it pushed down uh, from 9 p.m. all the way and from 2014 levels all the way until 1,976, coming down 37 US dollars before having a sharp recovery. Okay, sharp recovery, pushing back up uh, to 2,010 levels, going up 33 US dollars. And then after it went quiet, Okay, so as of this morning's uh, Asian partic participation, it is pushing down the gold prices by about uh, 1616 US dollars. Okay, so uh, gone quiet again. So we got to watch and see where it's going to go later. Um, but tentatively, the uh, res resistance levels to the high side is at 2015 US dollars, which is about uh, $20 to the upside. And to the downside is at 1976, which is about uh, $18 to the downside. <clears throat> uh, nothing much happening with silver at the moment <clears throat> and uh, oil prices are still hovering around um, the recent highs of $43.50 and yesterday it found some resistance at $43.20 okay. so mostly range bound uh, pushing down a bit um, a bit of volatility towards uh, 9pm yesterday uh, Singapore time pushing down about $0.70 cents and then pushing back up again about $0.80 cents. So yeah, S and P five hundred is still going strong. Um, after breaking through the resistance of three eight three of three three thousand three hundred eighty three, currently it is hovering at about three thousand three hundred ninety four. It looks like a decent and uh, strong bullish trend um going up. So we got to watch and see what happens during the afternoon and especially tonight. Uh, in the U S trading session leading up to the FOMC meeting minutes at two a.m. local Singapore time. So yesterday, uh, some minor economy data was announced. U.S. housing starts uh, improved tremendously to, to 1.49 million units. This represented a 22% jump um, from market expectations of just a 5% increase. And also housing permits um, increased uh, or jumped to 18.8% um, versus market expectations of 5.4%. Uh, so yesterday also, um, aside from the U.S. dollar weakening, and uh, which pushed up uh, the UK pound prices uh, for yesterday um, negotiations uh, between the UK and the European Union uh, restarted in Brussels uh, with uh, UK's uh, top negotiator David Frost continuing discussions with uh, Michel Barnier from the European Union and they are looking forward to conclude the talks which will is scheduled to conclude on the 2nd of October so that is about uh, seven weeks from now if there's further progress or developments uh, regarding the negotiations, it will definitely have uh, further impact on the UK pound. Okay, so at the moment, um, it looks like the US dollar is trying to find support at ninety two point one four, 
currently is uh, slightly uh, um, strengthening. So we do see the UK pounds pushing down a little bit along with the euro dollar pushing down. Okay, So there's a high chance it will test this dynamic trend line, uh, bullish trend line, and there's a high chance also it will break. And then after it should find support uh, towards the lower levels of uh, for the euro dollar, about 1.1878, which is about 50 pips to the downside. Okay, So keep an eye out for today. Um, for today, we are expecting again uh, currencies uh, to be active and also gold prices uh, to be moving at least within a 20 to 30 US dollar range. Okay, So I hope you guys have a great trading day ahead and I'll see you again tomorrow for the latest market updates. Thank you. Have a good day. Thank you.